Hey guys, King Atronis here. Today I'll be your judge, your jury, and your analyst. And today I bring to you the most powerful ABB team for the Little Jungle Cup. For those of you that have been using Shadow Gold Bats, it's actually part of the most powerful ABB team. And I will utilize, well, I don't actually use Shadow Gold Bat here. I have a regular one. I like the regular one better too, just as a little extra bulk you have. But Shadow Gold Bat, regular Gold Bat still works in this team. It is going to be... Swinub, Golbat, and Skarupi. But before I get started, the thing is, this team is, there's a lot of things that work in Little Jungle Cup, but this is, a, I believe, a top five team. Let me look back up here. Where did it actually place as far as the rankings go? Poison's very safe in this meta for the fact that there aren't a lot of confusion. Well, there are some confusion users, i.e. execute, but you're not going to likely encounter them a lot. Or if you get them, usually they'll be in the lead, like you'll see in one of my battles here. But as far as the top battles, if you go look at top teams, this was actually the number four team. So out of all the top teams, this is the strongest AVP team, ranking at number four. Literally the fourth strongest team. And it features Swinub, Golbat, and Skarupi. Ice, double poison. Shadow Golbat's the one featured here, but regular Golbat works just fine. As I've, like, there really hasn't been, like, I've noticed the effectiveness. Like, it really doesn't matter. If you have it, you have it. If you don't, that's fine. But also, these Pokemon are kind of expensive. It's really, you need to have a really low-level Shadow Golbat, or even a Golbat in general, if you're going to have one that's viable for the Little Jungle Cup. Swine Up can debuff, set you up for some plays, and Golbat and Skarupi can deal heavy damage against your opponent's back row. Skarupi can also boost with Cross Poison. The pressure, the damage, plus again, not being having a lot of confusing users out here, and Shadow Golbat or Golbat having, and Skarupi having a great match against the Charmers. This team is really freaking good. And you will see the energy management and the matchups in this shoutcast. You'll lose the lead with sign up, save switch into Skarupi, or you can sacrifice Swine Up in the lead, or you can bully your opponent and try to come out with it, or try to win the lead. Or you get lucky and your opponent doesn't shield anything, you're like, why did you do that? But this team's very powerful, and again, this is the best, the top, the most powerful ABB team for the Little Jungle Cup. But before we get started with the shoutcast, first is going to be my mental health tip for the day. So, this is going to center around depression. So, this is not, well, it's it's more like psychoeducation, which is basically what education is called when it comes to, like, mental health or, like, mental illness. Most people probably don't know about that because a lot of your content creators are just really advocates. They aren't actually pursuing licensure as a marriage family therapist, a licensed professional clinical counselor, or any of the other modalities can actually do psychotherapy ethically. What ethically means is that you can and are trained to do psychotherapy you can treat mental illness and there's a reason why there are boards for this and it's a reason why it's regulated your random joe across like that's kind of like what i'm trying to like as far as say here is like be very careful since we're talking about poison here be very careful who you follow as far as like peep as far as creators that promote mental health the only ones you really should be listened to are licensed or licensed mental health professionals or Licensed mental, licensed mental health professionals are ones that are pursuing one of the four that I mentioned. For other countries, it's different. In the United States, you have LPCCs, you have LMFTs, you have licensed social workers, as well as psychologists. And there's a fifth one with about nurses, where nurses at a certain amount of education can take mental health classes or a course, and then they can do psychotherapy on that route. It's very rare, but it happens. Again, if it's like a nurse, etc., but it's rare. Other than that, you will normally go through the other four modalities. But unless you are pursuing one of those or you are licensed, you cannot ethically do, you cannot ethically do psychotherapy or even ethically give mental health advice because you aren't trained in this. There's a reason why when you go up to this, you have supervisors as well as other group supervisors that super, that need to certify your hours in order for you to get licensed. So be very careful of who you listen to. They're going to give you the whole, this is why a lot of influencers like Tony Robin, like Tony Robbins, Mel Robbins, Joe Rogan, etc. Like the high end, they're telling you they they mention this is not medical advice. They're not licensed medical for, and they have to do that because they don't want to get sued. Because boards can sue influencers if they don't put that extra cover your butt deal in there because they are not mental health professionals or medical professionals, etc. So. 
Again, speaking of poison, be very careful who you follow and who gives mental health advice because nine times out of 10, they're not licensed. To put a little statistic out there, only 0.02% of the United States actually are mental health professionals that either one do like me, which are pursuing licensure and will eventually get licensed or are licensed. So be careful. And I hope you enjoy this ice double poison, the strongest, the best, the top ABB team, again, for the little jungle cup. Let's get started. All right, here are the battles. So this is the strongest AVB team. Liter I think it's top three or top five. I don't know. Either way, it features Swinub, Golbat, and Skaroopy. A bacon, ice bacon, a Golbat, don't ask me how I have mine, and a Skaroopy, and we lose this lead hard. As you see, we got Gyarados, and the reason I stayed for a sec is because it might be Dragon Tail. If it's Dragon Tail, I got a lot of play. I got some play, but if it's uh, if it's a Waterfall, I'm dead. So that's why you see me swap. That's sometimes you'll do if you don't like. If you're kind of like you can't afford to do that, but as you see here, all we're gonna see is go back get absolutely chunked by these waterfalls. Our opponent fires a Twister, but because of the fact that we are able to. We have a two turn move, they have a three turn move. We are able to wing attack down for the W. For We're able to take back switch. We got Poison Fang and we're gonna be able to debuff this Mencino. And as you see, we're gonna debuff the Mencino. Now we got a full, we got Ice Bacon and we have Skaroopy. I'm gonna send in Skaroopy just because Skaroopy does resist charm. Of course, Poison resists charm and this Mencino does not get stabbed. And my brain is like, a Mencino? Why not Cottony though? But it makes sense. Mencino does have charm. It also has Aqua Tail and Thunderbolt. And it doesn't take super effective damage to Poison. So it's not actually a bad pick here. As you see, this Mencino, a very long time ago, I used this Mencino and made it go viral because I killed Giratina to death and locked into a bill. It was hilarious. All I'm gonna do is get a bazillion farm here and my opponent sends in a new mill and I'm like, this is gonna kill. This is double super effective. Scroopy Aqua Tails, you got no shields, and that's GG's. And Mincino, no matter what you got, Scroopy wouldn't CMP, and that's game. Even though I lost the lead hard as heck, we were able to come out with a W and absolutely annihilate our opponent. GG's, that's what you get for being creative. You know, the power of water is good. It's like the Avatar, you know what I mean? Katara is amazing. She's hella goaded. But on this day, water will not take the W from us, even though it beats our lead hard as heck. Speaking of losing a lead hard as heck, here you go. We got Ducklet into Swineup, and this is terrible for us. So we're going to have to pull out those moon salts. We're going to have to send Ice Bacon. Ice Bacon's going to have to do a 450 splash. Yes, I'm talking about wrestling right now. Pro wrestling is amazing. If you like pro wrestling, we can do be fans. My, own, my wonder is... Well, Jeff Hardy is in AEW right now, so that's absolutely amazing. All we're going to do is just Swanton Bomb, Whisper in the Wind, the unholy crap out of this stupid duck, and we're going to get Bubble Beam down. We're going to get the debuff. I'm going to fire an Icy Wing and attempt to get my own debuff, and then I'm going to swap. I just want to do as much chip as I can, but we're still in a rough patch here because Ducklet has a convincing matchup against our... So I'd appear. I try to get to a body slam, which I don't get to, but that's perfectly fine. It's okay. We're gonna get bubble beamed again. I'm going to shield this, and you're like, this is strange, but I do have I want body slam energy. And as you see, my opponent gives a switch, and I'm like, what? Why would you swap? And at the same time, it's still not a great matchup. I have Skarmory, Shadow Skarmory into Golbat. So, this is regular Golbat says Shadow Golbat again, but I kinda like how you have that little bit of that little bit of bolt, that little bit of bolt that kinda matters. So all we're gonna do is poison fang down. Yes, this is resisted, but we're going to be able to grab a shield here, which is great. And we're going to be able to get to another Poison Fang. I tried to bait here, but you're not going to be able to get to a Shadow Ball, which is perfectly fine. All we're going to do is Poison Fang, get the second debuff. This will still do a decent amount of chip. And then all I'm going to do is I'm actually going to send in Swine Up. I want Swine Up. The reason why is because Skaroopy's Poison Sinks are resisted, and I want to get a little bit of farm on the Skarmy. So as you see, I'm going to send in my Skaroopy, and they send in a Cottony. So this is how you know I play this game way too much, or played Little Jungle Cup. I will make a precise and calculated undercharge. This should take it down enough to where I should be able to safely farm on this Cottony, and I will be able to have two moves queued. And because I win CMP against everything in the back row, doesn't matter how much energy is on that Skarmory. All I gotta do is just hit the moves, and that's GG's. I'm gonna Poison Stink here. I should have Aqua Tail, that's perfectly fine. It's literally almost dead, so it doesn't matter. And then I'm gonna fire a second Cross Poison. And then hopefully I'm going to... Well, this should KO. As you see, Cross Poison is does have Stab, and that's why I'm going Double Cross Poison. Stab goes through, and we boost for the end. I go Super Saiyan Skaroopy. Not Super... Yeah, Super Saiyan Skaroopy goes through. And on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z, that's how you get excellent and precise energy management. Yeah, I 
play, yeah. I played that match boy too many times. Don't 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 ask how I know how to do that. But yeah, with absolute precise energy and precision, you too can come out of the W and make excellent plays like that. And all of a sudden, we have Skarmory into Swine Up, which is actually neutral for us. You technically win this one, but at the same time, it really just depends on how the battle plays out. And our opponent doesn't shield, and my brain is like, why? Yeah, that KOs, dude. I have a very uh, yeah, that's gay. Shield your Skarmories. Shield your Skarmories. I think. Swina barely wins, but Body Slam, it depends on if you were able to hit Body Slam or Icy Wind in that scenario like you see there. So like it's pretty neutral, it can go either way. So as you see here, they send in a Pikachu and we're gonna get Flying Press, that is Libra. Speaking of pro wrestling, this is the, that was an absolutely incredible catch by the way. My brain was like, yo, that was like, I can't hate. Even though it's double resistant, look how much damage a Body Slam does, it's absolutely ridiculous. But we still have full control of this matchup. We still have Skarupi and we still have Golbat at full power. So I still have full control of this match. Aquatel goes through. We still have Golbat. We still have Swinub. And this is GG's for the most part. You lost it. Your whole Skarmory literally got yeeted to the face of the Shadow Realm. You tried to play Pot of Greed. And instead of drawing two, you drew death. And for those of you that don't know what I'm referring to, if there's that pot of greed mean, you know, like it says, and I, I play pot of greed, which lets me do this and draw two. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a Yu-Gi-Oh thing. You can look it up if you want to, but we're talking, yes, anime reference. But Yu-Gi-Oh is a different franchise, but it's, it does have the anime. So it's it's freaking hilarious. We're going to let our Skarupi go here. And all we got to do is send in our gold bat and then our swine up either one and just body slam the victory like i have so much control here body slam will go off i'm just going to let swine up go because all that's realistically gonna happen are actually a shield here and then i'm just gonna body slam and then i'm gonna swap into it this is just really fancy for no reason all i have to do is fast move down and that's ggs because this pikachu is so hurt already that all i'm gonna have to do is fast move damage will take the play and pikachu is gonna need like a bazillion energy on it and that's why my opponent essentially just tops lefts and that well not top lefts but they just let it through and that's ggs really sweaty battle yeah shield your shadow skarmory if you see swina because icy wind does a ton of damage especially against shadow skarmory big metal bird can't take that icy wind you know it's the power of the north and we have number two this time my opponent is very 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 smart and swaps out into a pile of swine and my brain is like a pile of swine what and I can't compute. I swap into into Skarupi, but on all honesty, I should have tried to farm this thing down and got a bunch of energy, but it's okay. There's no use in letting Pile of Swine live, so they're gonna likely let it go. And as you see here, they do let it go. We get Swine up back. We get Skarmory back into our Skarupi. We still got Swine up. We still got Gold back. So I'm gonna just Aqua Tail down. Hopefully, I can do a bunch of chip damage and or grab a bunch of shields. As you see, I do grab another shield, which is great. It doesn't matter what you got. Like no, de like it doesn't. Your defense is terrible. Well, not really. There's just no defense right now because all I'm gonna do is with the Skarupi with a ton of energy, we're just gonna Aqua Tail the victory. They get a ton of energy though, so someone's gonna eat two charge moves or we'll have to shield two charge moves. I send Ice Bacon back in and all we're gonna do is we're going to farm down. Sky Attack comes through, I shield once, and I'm gonna shield again. We managed to get a power to so through, but it doesn't really matter. We're gonna have to commit both shields and we're gonna farm down with our Ice Bacon. And an Ice Bacon and Big Gold Bat is up and that's a... That's a, that's a Raikou. Th at this very moment, I froze. I literally froze and my brain was like, that's a minus 500 CP Raikou. And my brain was just like going off. And I'm like, I remember Pokemon Goto Johto Tour came out. And I was like, oh my god. As you see, Wild Charge isn't able to KO Zwine up. It balled out. But guess what? You charge with the wild and you try to ball. But guess what? My body slam is mighty. Body slam goes through. We send in Gold Bat. And all we're going to do is fast move down for the W. To this day... I am still shocked that I saw a Raikou in Little Jungle Cup. And my brain is like, what the heck did I just see? Like, I was like, dude, was that a Raikou in freaking all? Yes, it was. And now we get Swine Up into Execute. This is actually not great. Execute's Confusion Chunk. Yeah, we're going to come out with Shields, but our opponent is, able, is going to be able to grab one from us. Your opponent can elect to just expend both Shields here and then farm down and then take out Swine Up. But as you see, our opponent is just going to fire C-Bomb. We're going to have to shield it. And then we're, we're going to be able to get to do body slaps. So this is kind of a... You kind of lose this... You technically lose this matchup. It's very neutral. But as you see, Execute is going... To, they don't shield this one. That's a shot. Those are big... Those are big golden balls. But 
pause and then hit play but yes that was and we got a dwebble for the back row which is actually terrible for us the thing is dwebble is super effective against both skorupi and golbat and my brain is like ah oh, crap but we have aqua tail so Skorupi might be able to survive enough just so we could get off to Aqua Tails, take a bunch of shields, and hopefully our Golbat has a strong matchup against whatever is in the back. That's what we're hoping for right now. As you see, I fire the second Aqua Tail, trying to really like kind of align so they don't try to catch an Aqua Tail because I need as many Aqua Tails to go off as possible. Aqua Tail goes off, visual glitch happens, damage goes through, and we get Cottony into Golbat, and I'm vibing super hard right now. And I should have go- I double up here just because- a Grass and RC Bomb won't kill. I double up. I will win CMP against the Dwebble in the back, and that should be GG's. As you see here, all I'm going to do is just double up. We won't be able to take these charms, so I won't be able to farm down right all the way. So fire one Poison Fang, fire the second one, and that's GG's. This is the strongest ABB team in Little Jungle Cup statistically. It used Shadow Goldback instead of regular Goldback, but as you see here, regular Goldback's just fine. And it does work. This is the most powerful ABB team. I hope you guys enjoyed the battles. Again, a lot of energy management. And really fast-paced damage equals GG's for you and your opponent. And its team is really good. And that's GG's. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As you see, Ice Bacon... Not Shadow Bat, not Evil Bat, but Batman or Bat something. I still have to watch the Batman movie. I heard it's good, but you can tell me in the comments and ask me your opinion. Because me and my brother-in-law and my sister are going to see it. So I'm pretty excited about that. And then we have Skorupi, the little poison scorpion because of the poison buff. And Aqua Tail gives it a ton of energy so you can fire off a ton of charge, uh, charge moves hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully it's a it's a pretty fun team it does help you with your energy management etc as well as as you see switching out as energy management getting creative so this team can help you out especially if you're training for regionals or just training for go battle league in general do me a huge favor please follow me on twitch I do stream on Monday, Tuesday, Saturday, and Sunday from 6.30 to 7.30 a.m. PST in the morning. That's when I start. So again, it's going to be Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, 6.30 to 7.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, California. So it's that's the solid schedule that I see the most that really works out really well. And it's a consistent time where I can wake up and get everything ready and stream and get ready for the day so hope to see you there for those of you i've already seen you again i really do appreciate you and do me a favor like subscribe and comment on this video for the youtube algorithm a lot of you do it i really do appreciate you and you can easily subscribe by you see all the box on the bottom right put your mouse over it boom you easily subscribe from over there hopefully you're having fun in little jungle cup and again this is the most powerful abb team and it does really it can create a lot of win cons for you and again it does train you really well as far as energy management goes so, hopefully you have a lot of fun with it. Good luck on your Go Battle League sets, and I will see you guys on the next video.